students in the MSc program in economic history come from very diverse academic backgrounds. And many of them have never received any formal training in economics and statistics. So the purpose of this course is to give students the necessary statistical and econometric knowledge in order to understand and use quantitative methods in economic and historical research. Um, so after following this course, students should be able to understand but also critically evaluate the results produced in research articles and books which use standard quantitative and econometric methods. In that course, we follow a very hands-on approach to statistics and econometrics. We work with research articles, we analyze them, we deconstruct them. Um, we also always start from concrete real-world problems. And we also work with real data, which we analyze with statistical software. Um, and it is very exciting to see how, through that approach, students um, eventually get to understand quantitative techniques and why and how they are being used. So students who do not come with a statistical mindset might find it a bit challenging or might be a bit anxious about the idea of using statistics. Uh, however, it is really re rewarding to see uh, how they progressively develop their critical perspective and get to demystify statistics and quantitative methods. Statistics are used everywhere in the world today, and especially they are used to inform the policy debate. Um, so in my view, it is essential to understand how data and statistical results are being produced, and also on what statistical basis policy recommendations are being formulated. Being able to critically interpret and also use quantitative methods is a very important skill in the world today.